This topic describes the active diagnostic codes and log diagnostic codes functions within the Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. Active diagnostic codes warn the vehicle operator of potential problems. They also provide information regarding the nature of the problem to the service technician. Log diagnostic codes provide a list of diagnostic codes recorded and stored by the electronic control module, or ECM, over a period of time. If certain preset conditions occur that may prove to be troublesome to the operation of the application, the user is notified of the situation through active diagnostics. The codes and description of the problem are displayed on this screen as each occurs. Many people find it difficult to differentiate between active diagnostic codes and active event codes. Active diagnostic codes point a service technician to specific components on a Caterpillar product that require attention and maintenance. An example of such a code would be a failing sensor. Active event codes alert the operator or service technician that there are abnormal conditions occurring which may cause possible damage to a Caterpillar product. An example of an event code would be engine overspeed, which may indicate misuse on the part of the operator. Active diagnostics are accessed by clicking on the active diagnostic codes icon on the toolbar, by pressing the F3 key, or by choosing active diagnostic codes from the diagnostics menu. The top of the screen has up to four areas available to display status flag indicators. These flags are used to notify you of currently active conditions, such as no engine speed or cold mode. The name of the active ECM is displayed above the flags. The display area has two columns, code and description. This is where you will find the active diagnostic codes for your application. The subtitle indicates the ECM in which the problem is occurring. In this case, the ECM name is 3126B Full Feature Truck. CAT ET only displays information for one ECM unless you check the Include All ECMs button. This will enable you to view the active diagnostics grouped by ECM. When there is a single ECM on the data link, this checkbox is disabled. If more information is available about a specific diagnostic code displayed, the More Info button will be active. Pushing this button allows you to display the Caterpillar Diagnostics Advisor software tool. This software is used to help you identify and fix a problem. There may be situations where you would like to print out active diagnostics data for future use. To do so, click on the Print button. You have the option to print to screen, file, or printer. The information included in this report includes the source of data, time and date of report generation, ECM summary, a list of parameters and their values, and information that is unique to the function that you are printing. Log diagnostic codes are very similar to the active diagnostic codes, except they are logged over time. Log diagnostic codes can be accessed by clicking on the Log Diagnostic Codes icon on the toolbar, by pressing the F4 key, or by choosing Log Diagnostic Codes from the Diagnostics menu. The ECM logs the codes to this screen, and they are saved unless they are cleared by the user. As you can see, the screen is similar to active diagnostics, except there are three additional columns. The first is OCC, which stands for Occurrences. This column tells you how many times the particular code has occurred. The columns marked first and last indicate the first and last ECM hour that the problem occurred. The Clear button is used to clear log diagnostic codes from the list in the Log Diagnostic Code screen. 
Some log diagnostic codes cannot be cleared without factory or customer passwords. To clear a code, select the code you want to clear and click on the Clear button. A confirmation screen displays. This screen prompts you to verify that you want to clear the code. The Log Diagnostic Code screen is updated. Notice that the logged code is removed. This concludes the Diagnostic Codes topic. If you would like to view this topic again, click the Play button. Click on the Menu button to return to the main menu. This topic explains the status tool within Caterpillar Electronic Technician, or ET. The status tool allows you to view real-time electronic control module, or ECM, data. This is very helpful when diagnosing a problem with a Caterpillar product. The status screen has three main informational areas. The first is the status flag area. CAT-ET displays up to four status flag indicators in this area. The status flag area displays currently active conditions such as no engine speed. When a warning condition exists, it is described in the appropriate flag indicator area. The name of the active ECM is displayed above the flags. The ECM title area displays the ECM name and a group of predefined parameters. The display area is located in the center of the screen and displays the values, units, and descriptions of the ECM parameters for the group you have chosen. When a parameter is not supported by the current ECM, or if an error has occurred while reading the data, a value of unavailable is displayed. To view the status information in larger text, click on the Zoom In button at the bottom of the screen. Up to five parameters will be displayed in a larger font for easier viewing. If there are more than five parameters, they will be divided into two subgroups. You can access the second subgroup by clicking on the More button. When you have finished viewing the larger characters, click the Zoom Out button to return to normal font size. Because you are viewing real-time data, the values may continuously change. CAT-ET allows you to freeze the data being captured by clicking on the Hold button. This will pause the data on the screen and the Hold button changes to a Resume button. Click the Resume button to return to normal data retrieval. To access the Status Tool, click on the Status Tool button on the toolbar, Press the F2 key on the keyboard, or select Status from the Information menu. The first time you access Status, the Select Group window displays. This window displays a list of default groups of parameters and allows you to create, change, and delete groups. You can choose one of the default groups or create your own. Notice that when you select a group, the parameters monitored by the group are displayed in the right-hand column. This can help you decide which group you want to use or if you need to set up your own custom group. Using the up and down arrows on the keyboard, you can consecutively view each group and its parameters. You may also use the number keys as a shortcut to choose parameters. If a group already exists, you can choose that group by selecting the first letter of its name. 
If there is more than one group with the same first letter, continually pressing the letter scrolls through those groups consecutively. If you do not find a group which satisfies your need, you may create a new group or change a group which you have previously created. To create a new group, click on the New button. The Maintain Groups window displays. A list of available ECMs are shown at the top. If you have more than one ECM, you need to choose parameters available for each ECM. Determine which parameters from the available list would be most helpful to your situation. Select the parameter and click on the Add button. This will move the parameter to the group. You may also double-click on the parameter to add it to the group. Continue this process until you have added all the parameters you need. You can add up to 10 parameters maximum. When you are finished, click on the Save As button. You can click on the OK button to use this group without saving it. However, you will be prompted to save the group. The Save Group window displays. This window is used to specify the name of the group you are creating. Type a name for the group and click OK. Your new group is now available to be chosen when you select a group to view. If you would rather modify an existing group instead of creating your own from scratch, you can follow a very similar process. Select the group and then click the Change button. This will enable you to eliminate unneeded parameters and add those you need to monitor. Then save the group under a new group name or right over the existing group name. If you find you no longer need to store a particular group in CAT ET, you can delete the group by selecting it and clicking the Delete button. By maintaining groups to suit your needs, you will find that the Status tool can be a valuable tool for monitoring parameters on Caterpillar products. You can view the Status screen by clicking the OK button. The status screen displays the status parameters for the group. You can return to the Select Group screen by clicking on the Groups button at the bottom of the CAT-ET screen.